Nate Saunders here for ESPN Unlapped. I'm with Lawrence Edmondson. And I think today we've raised the bar for the guests that we've had on this show. Not only do we have 2009 world champion Jensen Button, we've also got Keanu Reeves joining us on the show. Delighted to have you both with us today, guys. Thank you so much for taking some time to have a have a chat with us. Um, Thank you. Keanu, I'm going to start with you because, I mean, when I, when I heard about this um, documentary for the first time, I wondered how on earth has Keanu Reeves ended up narrating and basically driving an entire documentary about Formula One. I imagine there's a great story behind that. When did Formula One uh, get onto your radar and when did you first learn about the Braun GP story? Um, yeah, I, I liked Formula One as a kid and you know followed it on and off through the years. Um, loved the cars, loved the racing, loved the sound of it, love, yeah, love it. And um, and I heard the story, I didn't, I didn't watch the 2009 season really. Um, I can't remember. I might've seen a race or two, but, but a friend of mine told me the story and he, you know, he basically started with, hey, do you remember that team that was bought for a pound that won the championship? You know, independent team that won. And I was like, what, huh? And that was really like the pitch line. And then I was in, I've made documentaries in the past. I love storytelling. And so uh, the guy who I partnered with, Simon Hammerson, uh, is a producer and director I'd worked with and, uh, and we had spoken about it. And so he and I went and tried to make this documentary and here we are because of Jensen Button and Ross Braun and Nick Fry and Rubens Barrichello. You know, they, they said yes, and so then we could move forward, you know. And I guess, Jensen, the obvious question for you off the back of that is how did you feel when you found out that Keanu Reeves was going to make a documentary about your championship season? Uh, very privileged. <laughs> no, man, I bet you were just like, that sounds weird. What? Huh? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? What? Where? Why? Uh, for me, it was... It's funny because a lot of time's gone by since 2009 and everyone's been busy. Time moves so fast these days. So for me to stop and have a moment to really reflect on that year was was amazing. And then we met in L.A. for lunch uh, with the full crew that were going to be involved with uh, with the documentary, talked it through and I I could see the the interest from these guys and, and how much time and effort they'd already put into it and understanding what that season really meant to us and to Formula One. So I was fully on board. Uh, and for me, reliving that season, it, you know, every step of the way through the interview process to watching the documentary, I mean, it feels like it was yesterday and it brings back so much emotion. And I, I love that the new fans of this sport are going to get to see a true gritty story of, of this small team that took it to the big giants of Formula One and they won. And I, I also love that the way that it's been shot, the interviews that Keanu does and how open everyone's been with Keanu and how much passion there still is for that season, whether it's, it was a good year or a bad year, there's a lot of emotion and, and, pent up probably aggression in some <laughs> <laughs> and Keanu I just wanted to um, I mean ask both of you about that really because what was really striking about the documentary was you spoke to everyone involved in that story I mean it wasn't just a case of talking to you know Jensen and and, and the top guys you talked to a lot of people across the team what was that like just just hearing those those human stories of the team like Jensen said kind of reliving it again after all this time and Jensen, just for you, that process of getting yourself back into that season, you mentioned that it was it was pretty amazing to do. But was there anything um, for you, Jensen, that kind of coming back to this that you realized, like, actually, I hadn't thought about this for a while that kind of surprised you kind of getting back to that point again? No, kind of kind of strange. It's um, when you watch the documentary and for everyone that watches it that was outside of Braun, they would just be like, wow, what a story you couldn't. You couldn't script this. You wouldn't believe it if it, if it was a fictional movie. When you're in it, though, it's it's tough. When you're in that in that season, you have the highs, but the lows are the ones that really get you. And uh, 
it was such a a tough season for all of us you know the highs were unbelievably high but the lows were so low as some, some of the lowest moments i've had in the sport came in 2009 but then to win the championship in brazil the emotions and to take that championship in brazil yeah i mean i still get so excited about it it's 14 <laughs> years ago and i've always said that race wins are amazing it's that living in the moment but a world championship that never gets old that's with you forever yeah i mean i think for me it was like when you speak about you know everyone we had a chance to speak with it you know really what was we were at brackley which is you know which so the old braun honda braun mercedes-benz at brackley when we were there we were filming um we had and we were at brackley and and then people a couple of people came up to us and said, oh, I was here when I did. And this one gentleman, I was like, well, what do you have? And he's like, I have a video. What do you mean you have a phone? He's just like, I filmed the car the first time it ever left the tent at the shakedown at, um, at uh, where'd you guys do it? Silverstone? That was that, yeah. yeah, you guys were the in, inside there in the short track and like, and I was like, what? And I was like, and then all of a sudden, all of these other, I was like, who else has? And we started to meet other people who are at Mercedes Benz who were with Braun in 2009 at Brackley. Um, and so it was great. We started to meet all of, you know, other aerodynamicists. What did it take to cut the car in half? I mean, all of these people, we ended up taking a photo of it, which you see in the documentary. It's like over a hundred people at Mercedes who were at Brackley. And it was so cool to meet them and 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 I was like, wait, we have to talk to these people. And it's in, in the documentary, just meeting everyone who worked at Brackley and hearing the stories of of what happened and some of the challenges and the successes and um yeah, really inspiring emotional stuff. Of course there were the Brackley interviews, but there were also some interviews of people who weren't part of the team. I'm thinking Bernie and Luca de Montezemolo as two that I want to talk about. <laughs> Christian Horner. And Christian yeah. Horner. Like, so some of those were quite, the emotions were still quite strong, as Jensen said. You know, even for the guys who were competing against, they're still strong. So how did you find those interviews? And also, I have to ask, if you were uh, casting Bernie in a movie, who would play him? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know who would play. I don't know. Bernie Eccleston. I don't know. I have to There's only one Bernie. Bernie. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's true. Right? That there is. What a character. He has the hair, right? The Bernie hair, Bernie eye gla the glasses, the kind of like, I, uh, anyway. Um, uh, what was the question? So how, <laughs> how were those interviews? Because at times they sent- They were all awesome. Bit, they were amazing. A little bit kind of tricky and like they didn't- no, They were really gen- Everyone was Christian and, and Bernie and, and Luca, uh, Maestro, I mean, and even with Ross Brown and Nick, Nick Fry, I have everyone, Rubens Barrichello, everyone was really generous in their, in their kind of sharing of what was good or bad. And, you know, we, we, we you know, the director, Daryl Goodrich, Simon Hammerson, myself, we wanted to be really respectful to everyone and feel like it was safe to share however you felt. And I think people felt that like they were there was respect there and like and curiosity and 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 I think there's also a bit of you can't help yourself because you friggin care so much and you always care you ever you never don't care. In race, you know what I mean right Jensen like you talk about it like yeah they're still pissed off they lost that court case and someone would still say they're cheating they cheat it. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, or but then they would get gentlemanly, right? There's the like <laughs> knives out, but then we'll be civil and we'll talk to each other for the most part. Well, I think that's kind of that it's interesting, isn't it? Because that's one of the things with the with the Drive to Survive series that a lot of fans really got into was the human element, but also also that kind of cutthroat politics of Formula One and how people could go from very, very tense situations to then competing against each other on the racetrack. And you kind of picked the perfect season to do for that because you had the fairy tale story and then you had the photo situation, everything like that. It's amazing to actually see it all put together in the way it is because 
an unbelievable season just on and off the track. There was so much going on. And between Jensen and Rubens, right? You're like a team until someone starts winning. And right, Jensen, you talk about like, who do you have to, who do you have to beat first? Your teammate. <laughs> and there's, and there's no other sport like that, right? It's, it's no, so isn't. unique in that sense. Yeah, but I, the thing for me that is exciting, you know, the series you talked about, it's entertainment, right? It's to get the fans interested. This story, it is the story. Do you know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, it was beautifully told, I have to say. And I love all of the interviews from you know, the big names in the sport. But as Keanu said, the, the, the people within the team the engineers, the mechanics, the fuel guy. I mean, I, that is one of Very. the best stories ever, isn't it? Well, he yeah, was a even the race engineers, right? Like Andy and Jocko, like, yeah. oh, Jock, like, oh. Yeah. There's so Outside much. To the garage. Yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty, that's pretty remarkable, isn't it? Going from plumber back to <laughs> fuel rig operator for a Formula 1 team. Doesn't get much better than that. Um Guys, thank you so much for um, spending some time to talk to us today. Keanu Reeves, Jensen Button, absolute privilege to talk to you. And uh, I'm sure everyone's going to love the documentary. We've been binging through it today and just messaging each other basically about how good it is. So thanks so much. Um, thanks, yeah, and uh, look forward to watching it again for a second time. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you. Cheers, guys. See you soon.